Since 2003, the legislature has created nine tax preferences to support the aerospace industry. Today, the preferences continue to meet the legislature's goals to lower costs, maintain the industry, and encourage strong wages. But it's unclear if job growth meets legislative expectations. Beneficiaries currently save about $100 million every year, but savings have declined 63% in the last five years. That's due in large part to the legislature's repeal of the most used preference in response to a ruling from the World Trade Organization. The preferences also lower the effective tax rate for beneficiaries. Effective tax rate estimates what a hypothetical firm might pay in state and local business taxes. The effect is less than in 2019 when the preferences lowered the rate from 21% to 10%. Today, it lowers it to 13%. Washington's aerospace industry is still among the largest in the country and pays good wages. In 2022, it contributed $27.4 billion to the national GDP, and it paid workers an above average wage of $128,000 per year. There are fewer jobs today than in 2019, but there are more than in 2003 when the preferences were first enacted. It's unclear if this meets the legislature's goal to maintain and grow the workforce. The legislative auditor recommends that the legislature clarify its expectations for the level of aerospace industry employment. We reached the same conclusions when we reviewed the preferences in 2014 and 2019. For that reason, the legislative auditor recommends eliminating the requirement for review every five years. The preferences would revert to the standard 10-year review cycle for tax preferences. You can learn more on our website.